I think it's difficult to address all of it and recognize it and then know what to do about it. With our parents and grandparents living longer lives, organizations across the country and right here in the Valley want people to be aware that elder abuse is a problem that can impact any family. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Adult Protection Services in Cass and Clay Counties says awareness of elder abuse is the only way people will begin to feel more comfortable reporting it. Valley News Team's Cornelius Hawker talked to a woman who's thankful this conversation is happening in her community. My thoughts on elder abuse? Well, I don't think it should occur, of course, but I think uh, it occurs lots more often than people are aware of. Shelter Warren says most people hope they can take care of their loved ones to prevent elder abuse. I was a caregiver for my mother, and at that time, she was very competent and more like a friend. But it changes your lifestyle. A lifestyle change that for some people could mean needing more money to take care of their family member. Family members are secretive when it comes to internal issues. In 2011, Scott Campbell's brother, Timothy Campbell, was sentenced to jail for stealing more than $100,000 from their own mother who had dementia. It's why Scott is here in Moorhead talking about this issue on what is World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. We needed to get this out into the public and speak as a victim on behalf of our elders. State representatives, attorneys, ombudsmen, and others who are entrusted with protecting the elderly are hoping to get the message out there. If you see something that you think is out of place, don't hesitate to report it. We have to uh, teach the public that there's a fine line that shouldn't be crossed, especially when you're dealing with the aged population. In Moorhead, Cornelius Hawker, Valley News Live. Scott's situation with his mother was made even worse, so more difficult, because he and his brother were Duluth police officers at the time. He says no one should escape the punishment for abusing the elderly, but it all comes down to people not being afraid to report it.